What's up guys? Uh, I have a quick video here for the AMC 327 guys. I know I got a couple of you guys watching because uh, I get questions here and there. Um, I did a video earlier on this uh, Gen 2 intake that we obviously have not started on yet. Um, but one other thing I wanted to show you guys while I had this uh, my Gen 1 uh, four barrel intake off. I don't think I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, but I have a, a little RTV on there. But uh, I have this uh, Gen 1 intake that I put on there. I had it or when I bought it, it was bored out for a newer 4160 Holley carb. Uh, when I had it apart, I actually went and gasket matched these, uh, at least a little bit. I didn't go too aggressive because it does get a little thin in spots. Um, and then as you can see, the, the wall is not the best there. But I just wanted to show you guys, There's a, you can do this, it's basically free. I mean, if you have a, a die grinder and a, you know, a proper bit, uh, you can go to town on those, you can kind of get an idea of how deep in there we want to take material off. It's kind of hard to see side by side, but if we take a look again with the gasket there, got a little little bit of material taken off. And then if we go over to the same side, you can see where there is that extra material. Um, so yeah, this is a, a super quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, where you can take that material off and kind of get a closer look at these. and. You know, maybe free up a little power, maybe a little bottom end uh, power, maybe a little top end as well with that, that better flow. Let's uh, flip this over and take a look at uh, what needed to be done to this intake to accept a, a newer Holly Carb. All right, so it's my understanding that these were, before I purchased it, these were bored out to accept a larger, or not a larger, but a, a newer Holly Carb for the butterflies that open and close when you're opening up the throttle. Uh, I also, when I bought this, got a nice little one inch spacer with it. So that's kind of nice. Um, I can't tell. I think this is used for vacuum. I don't see ports back here. I don't know if it was like a homemade nitrous plate, but uh, I see the ports up here. I think it was, I don't know, possibly used for the brake booster or something like that back in the day. Um, so yeah, that's a, I just wanted to give you guys a look. Um, I, you guys will probably notice these are turning brown. Those are the crossover for the uh, the choke which is powered by I think a spring and just the heat that came off the uh, the exhaust side through the head so uh, that's just a quick video for you guys I wanted to show you guys because uh, some of the, some people aren't up to the task of kind of modifying these gen 2 intakes and uh, you know as I get closer to doing it I don't totally blame you guys but it is something we're gonna do but uh, yeah just you know if you want to go in here and then just clean these up you can skip the middle because that is a crossover. It benefits you in no way if you were to modify that. So uh, just do the outside too on both sides. And I think it'll help you guys out quite a bit. I, I didn't uh, I didn't notice any power per se because I did this prior to... Actually, somebody had put a two-barrel car or intake on my car. And as I rebuilt, I put the four-barrel intake on it and I ported it at the same time. So I don't know what you'll feel in the good old butt dyno, but... You might get some power out of it. So just thought I'd post this up, show you guys what you can do to get some, uh, maybe an extra little bit of power out of your uh, AMC 327.